This video will cover the topic, solving a decimal word problem using a linear equation of the form ax plus b is equal to c. So what would a problem in this topic look like? Great question. A problem based on this topic would look like this. For his long distance phone service, Keith pays a $3 monthly fee, plus 11 cents per minute. Last month, Keith's long distance bill was $13.89. For how many minutes was Keith billed? So what's our first step? In this problem, the monthly fee increases at a constant rate, 11 cents per minute. So we can model this with a linear equation in the form ax plus b is equal to c. Before we do this though, we need to make sure that the values of money in our equations are all expressed using the same unit of money. Currently, we have information in both dollars and cents, but we want everything to have the same unit. So let's convert all of our values back to dollars meaning we are going to have to convert from cents to dollars. If we forget to do this step, our answer will be incorrect. So instead of writing 11 cents, we could write 0.11 dollars then, right? Precisely. Now, let's set up our linear equation using the form ax plus b is equal to c. We are told that Keith pays a set monthly fee of $3 in addition to every 0.11 dollars for every minute used which all sums up to a total of $13.89 for the month, which means our equation is going to look like this. $0.11 for every minute used, minutes being represented by the variable m, plus an initial fee of $3, all of which is equal to $13.89, the total amount that Keith was charged for at the end of the month. Why did we decide that M would represent the number of minutes Keith was billed for? Good question. We use a variable to represent any value that is unknown. Since we don't know how many minutes Keith was billed for, we are using the variable M to represent that value. Time to solve our equation for M to determine the number of minutes for which Keith was billed. First, we're going to subtract 3 from both sides, and we're left with 0.11m is equal to 10.89. Now we're going to divide both sides by 0.11 and we're left with m is equal to 99. This means that Keith must have been billed for 99 minutes last month in order for his bill to be $13.89. Okay, I think I understand. Let me try to summarize what we did really quickly. First, we used the information we were given to create a linear equation. Then, we solved for the variable or value that we were asked to look for, right? Yes, that was a great summary. It really seems like you have a pretty good idea on how to solve a decimal word problem using a linear equation of the form ax plus b is equal to c.